Hi! Hope you're all enjoying fall so far. Um, I'm here trying to make the background aesthetic, but you can see exactly where my enthusiasm ended, so that's just how it is. I'm on the floor of my basement because I have a whole bunch of things that I need to show everyone and just enthuse about. So at the beginning of October, I noticed ASOS was doing a pretty huge sale. I don't usually shop on ASOS. Actually, this is the first time I've ever bought things, but I'm really excited about them because as the seasons change, the easiest way to freshen things up is to amp up the accessories game. Yeah, let's just, let's get into it. I don't know why I keep messing with this paper as if it's going to give me some kind of fluid speaking energy because today I just, I cannot words, I don't know why. So starting off with, I was going to hold out for these till the end and have them be like the final piece maybe for like dramatic reveal purposes, but I just, I can't wait. They're so, so cool. This is my favorite item of this entire haul. Got these tan orange-ish faux leather Chelsea's. It's like a very interesting color. Um, it's not orange enough to look weird and gross, but it's also not tan, like boring tan. So that's kind of why I love these. And they're versatile enough to go with just a simple pair of jeans and a t-shirt or a sweater. But I could also see myself dressing them up with maybe like a skirt and coat situation. These are from Monkey, Monkey, M-O-N-K-I. These were $32 and I'd say they're quite a steal for that amount. Keeping in line with the footwear, I also got these little babies. What I liked about these was that they're a little bit taller on the ankle so I can use them on lower heeled shoes so they can like peek through, not lower heel, lower ankle, um, lower height boots, I guess. And they'll peek through and they have like interesting textures and patterns on top with the little bands. And also this like mustard color one, I think will be a fun addition to the fall wardrobe. So these were $13 for the three pack, which means they individually come out to about, uh, math, $4 each, um, which actually isn't too bad given that they're pretty thick and they seem durable and comfy. I also want to try the socks and heels thing. I've worn it a couple times before, but only with like similar shade socks, so you can't really tell that I'm wearing socks under heels. Um, with these, I want to try going a little bit more ham on that and see how that turns out. Um, next up is this little bag. I have used this so much in my um, outfits video that I did a couple weeks ago. So you've probably already seen this if you've watched that. If not, you can go check it out. I'll link it. But I love this bag and even though it doesn't hold as much as some of my other similar sized purses or bags do, I really like that it's got this like structured office feel and it has the little rose gold details in contrast with the black, which is really, really nice. And yeah, it's got a little strap and everything with the handle, real cute and profesh. Um, this was how much monies? How much monies was this? It was, I think, one of my slightly more expensive pieces. Yes, yeah, so this was 24.5. Okay, it wasn't that expensive. To me, any money that goes out in my bank account just immediately becomes super expensive. Even though when I'm buying it, I'm like, yeah, this isn't that expensive. I need this in my life. But once I've bought it and I have it and I've started using it, I'm just like, oh, that was that was too much money of me. What were you thinking? But this was actually quite affordable. This is by ASOS Design V-Bar Structure Satchel Bag. So I guess because it's their home brand, it's a little cheaper, but it's good. I, I like it. So I haven't had a statement belt before. Um, I've only used like simple patterned ones or just like solid um, brown or black ones, but this, I don't know if you can see it, you should be able to. Oh yeah, there it is. It's got that brassy bronze detail going on and it's just two simple rings. I think it can also work with like skirts and dresses, so that's always nice to have a versatile little belt. $6.50, $6.5, that's insane. 
yeah, this was on sale, so I guess I got a really, really good deal. Get your stuff on sale at ASOS, I suppose, is the takeaway from this. This is this is some really good stuff for really, really affordable prices. Like, I could see myself seeing these prices at like Forever 21, but with much worse quality. Sometimes Forever 21 does good things, but more often than not, this isn't what you're getting. Cool, next we have um, something that I thought was going to look a little different. Uh, when I saw the picture online, this part, so these are um, some tights that I got, and I thought this bit, which is like the socky bit or the leg warmer-ish bit, I thought it was going to be glittery because for some reason it looked like the picture online had some shimmer in it, but it doesn't. It's just a little bit thicker and kind of made of like a woolen material and it seems comfy and it seems cozy so I'm not mad uh I'm actually quite unmad and very excited to use this because I've been looking for nice interesting but not too over the top um leggings tights not leggings tights is it tights or stockings? What's what's the difference between tights and stockings? Stockings in some cases can be synonymous with tights they're another footed type fitting garment that comes in a range of fabric styles and weights. Okay, cool. So that was a completely unasked for foray into definitions of clothing and fabric, but the material is also a lot nicer feeling than most other tights I've owned. And I'm not afraid of doing this, not afraid of like just normal usage. Cause sometimes I feel myself, like my heart clenches up and like I can feel my throat constricting at the thought of just touching tights because I'm so afraid of them ripping. If there's one thing you want to spend a decent amount on, it's tights for winter. Even though like naturally ripped tights are now a new thing, I haven't been able to get into it. To me it just still feels weird. These were $10 and they are pretty poly over the knee secret cable sock tights in marl. That's more words than the amount of items I bought in this haul, but <laughs> okay. Um, they are only in one size and the color is gray. Oh, okay. That was a little bit anticlimactic. That's the end of the haul. That's all I got. Wow, I thought I had gotten a lot more things, but it's only the tights, socks, boots, bag, and belt. Those are all the things I got. Um, yeah, I guess it makes sense. I didn't really go on much of a shopping spree this fall. But yeah, it's all stuff that I'm excited to try and to wear. There's also this, um, which is a pair of Emmett's pants. Um, but I don't think he wants to come review anything today. So hey, Emmett, you want to no. come review your pants? No. OK, cool. Um, so he definitely does it. Um, so, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I don't know, he's been wearing them a bunch and they look really cute. So if you want to buy any male pants on ASOS, maybe give that a try too. Yeah, I don't, I don't have much else to say about that. So that's that on that. Thank you for watching and I hope you find some cute things on sale on ASOS or anywhere else on the internet. It's always a fun time to find things on sale that you actually like. Cause a lot of times I'll try to look at the sale section of websites and just, it's all just garbage. And I can't ever imagine wearing any of it or any like practical uses for it, but this worked out really great. So cool. Um, I am officially out of words and coherent statements. So I'm going to go now and maybe have some hot chocolate to celebrate all of these fall feelings that these boots are giving me. I am so, so, so excited, but hope you had a good Halloween because this is probably going to go up. Oh yeah. Today is Halloween. So this is not going up today, but hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next week.